Hi, I'm Tom from LSI Garage. Today we have a 2004 F250 Ford Power Stroke in our shop. I'll be showing you how to change the transmission fluid in it. We have the internal filter here, 13 millimeter socket to get the oil drain pan plug out. 10 millimeters, your perimeter bolts on your oil pan. We'll be using our Blue Diamond transmission fluid. We also have this transmission stiction eliminator, which is real good in high mileage transmissions that might be experiencing some shifting issues from time to time. Always wear safety glasses and gloves. Make sure you have plenty of rags on hand because this could get plenty messy. Okay, we're gonna get under here and get the transmission fluid drained out. Then I'll show you how to get these fan bolts off and we'll drain the drain everything down and change the filter for you. You're lucky if you got a drain plug like this. There's a lot of manufacturers that do not utilize these little deals and it makes life a lot easier for you, the mechanic, if they do. So we'll give this about 10, 15 minutes to drain and then we'll come right back to you. Okay, we got pretty much most oil drained out of it. Plug back in it. Always check your gasket. Make sure you wipe your plug off and you have a clean surface up here. We'll get this snug back up and then we'll start pulling the oil pan down to get the internal filter change. Take our 10 millimeter and take the pan bolts out. Okay. Alright, come down. Two bolts and we'll Drop her down out of the way. The bolts don't have to come out in any specific pattern. We just kind of go back and forth from side to side so that the pan doesn't get warped or anything. I usually start at the back and come around and then start loosening them up and then make it so it tilts down like that. Your filter right here, there's an O-ring up top here, here it comes. Make sure the O-ring comes out with it. We're going to sit here and let it drain for a couple minutes. Get the gasket off and clean things up and I'll be right back with you. Alright, we've got the pan over here, we're going to clean the surfaces up on it. Magnet here, make sure you clean the magnet off. It's normal to have some wear particles on it, but um, if you find any pieces in the pan, that's not a good thing. It's probably going to end up having a transmission rebuild on it soon, but get her cleaned up as good as you can. Make sure that you don't have any dirt in it as it goes back together. If you have a parts cleaner, it's a perfect time to sit it down in there and soak it and clean everything up. If you don't, wipe it out with clean rags. On this transmission, the gasket, the pan gasket is reusable up to you if you want to change it or not. We're not going to change it because it still looks pliable and it's in good shape. It wasn't leaking before. We don't have a gasket here for it, but then the new filters ready to go on. We'll put a little bit of oak uh, 
oil on the o-ring and then push it back up into place and then we'll start putting the pan bolts in it so we'll go back underneath the truck now get transmission fluid get clean fluid on your fingers and lubricate your o-ring up right here pop it back up into place Clips in place there. And then we'll start putting our bolts back in it. Start one in the middle on each side to hold it into place and then you can get the others lined up fairly easy. You have to get all your pan bolts back in place. Make sure they're all started good, even, before you introduce any power tools to them if you're going to use power tools. Front to back, draw them up real easy. Okay, got all these tightened up in place. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna let it down, fill the transmission up with fluid. So we're going to let the truck down and we'll be right back with you. Okay, we just got our truck back down on the ground from changing our transmission filter. Let's go ahead and get the fluid back in it. start out with, we'll put two gallons in it and we'll start it up, warm it up and then recheck it. Make sure it's got enough. Okay, we're going to get down and get my hands cleaned up before I get in the customer's truck. We'll start it up and let it warm up for a few minutes and we'll recheck the fluids in it. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, we have our transmission fluid back in the truck. We're going to start it up, check the fluid level in it. We have a hot level here for when the transmission's at operating temperature. And then we have a, a cold level down here for where the motor is right now. I expect it should be in this level here. This is always done with the engine running. There it is, it's right, right above cold. 
right below hot. That's a good place to be. I put two gallons in it with the pan being off and the filter tank down there. So looks to me like two gallons is it. What we will do is actually get it up to warm temperature and recheck it again, but we're good where we're at right now. Okay, we have the transmission filter and fluid change completed in our 2004 F-250. Took two gallons of fluid. Um, the engine's not clear up the operating temperature yet, but it's right in the safe zone. So just make sure before you send it back out on the road, you get it up to operating temperature and your fluid is up towards the hot zone on the dipstick. Thanks for watching our videos. 